Hey guys, we have here the JBL Endurance Peak 3 wireless earbuds and in this video we want to explain to you how to pair these earbuds to your Mac. In case you want to pair your earbuds to a Windows computer, then I suggest you check out my other videos here in the upper right corner. Okay, so now let's get started and the very first thing we do is we're going to remove both earbuds out of the charging case. So this assumes that you have already activated them by first putting them at least once into the charging case and then we're going to turn on both earbuds and in this case i'm going to just flip here this hook right behind the earbud uh, so with the ear tip so that you can actually see this so and the first thing that should happen is that this led here on the side of the earbuds on both earbuds this led is supposed to rapidly blink in blue and that indicates that the bluetooth pairing process is now activated so in case your earbuds don't do that, for example, because you have previously paired them with a different device before, then uh, there's a trick here how you can manually trigger that Bluetooth pairing mode. And that is by pressing the uh, side of the uh, earbud, so that sensor that there is. We're going to press that twice, press very quickly, and then the second time we're going to press and hold it for at least five seconds, and that will activate the Bluetooth pairing mode. And at this point we can put the earbuds to the side and we're going to switch to our Mac. So in here in the upper left corner we find the Apple symbol here in the upper left corner here and in there we find system settings. So let's click on that. And then in here in the uh, pop-up that comes up there we see here very pretty much on top of the Bluetooth settings. So let us select this. And in here, the first thing we have to do is we're going to check, make sure that Bluetooth is actually enabled. So this switch has to be activated in order for our Mac to find the earbuds. And you're going to find down here at the nearby devices, you're going to find JBL Endurance Peak 3. And here we can select the connect button in order to pair them with our Mac. And this should only take a second and then we're going to see here that the earbuds are now connected and we can even check the battery start status. So here we can see right now the battery of the earbuds is still to 100% charged. And then we have here this little in info button. So if we select this, we can actually change the name of the earbuds. But this is only true locally here to our Mac. So uh, this will not transfer to the earbuds themselves so that other people can see the the name that you change it to and if you ever want to forget these earbuds then this is what you click or if you want to temporarily disconnect them then you can select the disconnect button here now there is also a different shortcut to use the uh, bluetooth settings and that is by clicking on the upper right corner here on the bluetooth button so here we have the option to enable and disable bluetooth as well as connect and disconnect from to uh, specific devices and also here we also can see the battery percentage of every device that's currently connected yet to our mac and this option comes in handy in case you're trying to use your earbuds with a different device because the uh, endurance peak 3 are only able to connect to one device at a time so if you want to switch the earbuds from your mac to your iphone then you just disable uh, the earbuds here in this menu and then you can pair them to your iPhone. Now once we're done using the earbuds then we're going to just turn them off by uh, closing the loop here to use the lock, the twist lock. And then also if we decide to recharge the battery then we're going to also put them back into the charging case. And if you're wondering you don't have to remove the earbuds out of the charging case once the batteries are fully charged. Uh, the charging process will be interrupted or stopped once the batteries of the earbuds are full. Okay, so this was already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.